Hello there, everybody. This is Donna Bells. Welcome back for more Let's Play Majora's Mask. All right, and as you can see, it is springtime here in the mountains. And as I promised last time, I'm going to talk to this little froggy that's just appeared here. And it gives me a good chance to show off the Don Geros mask. I've been waiting for you, Don Gero. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Oh, <laughs> thanks for noticing. I've just been following the uh, Hero of Time workout. Works wonders. Oh, Froggy, why you stop? As you can see, we were trying to conduct the choir, but unfortunately not all of the members have gathered. Perhaps it's because winter was too long? They must not have realized that spring has sprung. And when the great Don Geralt comes to us too, what a pity. Where in the world could they be? Well, as you can see, there are actually four empty lily pads here. Don't worry, Froggy, I will gather your chorus. I already know where three of them are, and you might remember where they are too, but the fourth one we've yet to see, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled for the fourth froggy. You know, speaking of keeping our eyes peeled, how does Link even see in this mask? Here, I'll show you. Ta-da! See, look, the frog hands are, like, covering his eyes. What the hell? I guess, like, the frog eyes are now his eyes? Boo! Either way, it's creepy. <laughs> now, before I forget, we have to go head back to Snowhead real quick because we have yet to turn in our stray fairies. And that is not good if you forget to do that and then turn it back three days. Ooh, not fun. But you know, you can always go back if you miss some at some other point when you're ready to tackle it again. But still, I, mm, that's not fun to me, <laughs> going back in a temple at all, which we will have to do to actually um, find a froggy or two to get that choir back together. And we're gonna have to beat Snowhead again just to make it spring. Ugh. But here, let's turn into Darmani here and talk to this big guy. He's just sitting here chilling. What does he have to say? I guess he, uh, he survived that fall there. But, I mean, a big canyon like this, I guess, isn't that big of a deal when you're this fucking huge. Darmani, what in the world have I been doing this whole time? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look around Snowhead to figure out why spring wasn't coming. So, he doesn't know why he was here. Herm. What am I doing sitting in a place like this? Well, dude, you kind of fell asleep when, like, literally fell, but, oh well. He doesn't have to know. I'm guessing that Skull Kid uh, tricked him or brainwashed him or something into guarding the temple and not letting anybody in, and he killed Darmani. But real quick, notice that everything's melting. It's definitely obvious that spring has sprung, and even the wolfos, they aren't white anymore, they're gray. But it's still pretty snowy up here because, I mean, it is the mountains after all. Ugh, Darmani. Your tits look nicer than mine. I'm so jealous. Or at least they're bigger anyway. Jeez. Whoa, this girl on the other hand. You can tell it's cold up here in these mountains. That's for sure. God. <laughs> Who's she? The great fairy of wisdom. Well, ma'am, you should be wise enough to buy a less pointy bra. Or at least wear one. I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> the other fairies don't really have the excuse that you do. I mean, it is cold up here, so... Oh my god! <laughs> he looks so funny floating up in the air like that. Alright. Oh, look at this face! <laughs> That's hilarious. Awesome! I love this power upgrade. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. Awesome! Love it! You know, something I noticed is that... All these stray fairies here in Snowhead and the Great Fairy herself actually match the power-up that they're giving Link. Because it's magic, they're green, but they don't really make sense for the others. I mean, the orange fairies gave us bubbles. She could have been blue or something. And then the pink fairies got us a spin attack. <laughs> Just real quick, I want to point out how so pretty it is here at night when spring is sprung. At least with, like, with the mountains and all the stars. So romantic! Except for that big-ass moon. At least it kind of looks normal here. I mean, that's like the moon's back or the back. You can't see its creepy ass face, <laughs> at least. So I am going to head right back to the mountain village because I want to get my fancy schmancy sword upgrade. And that's pretty much the only reason that I wanted to do this temple in the first day. And as long as it hasn't become dawn of the second day, or dawn of the second day, should I say, um, then you can always get the sword upgrade because you need to do it on the first day if you want to get it, like, the complete full sword upgrade. And, of 
course, there's always 20 rupees down here, too. You just gotta punch these babies out. Very nice. And I love the detail on the back of those stairs. I mean, they didn't really need to paint them, but I like the added detail there, for sure. <laughs> these smithies are two of my favorite characters in the whole game. They're hilarious. Now, notice that the furnace is working and it looks just fine. Well, during the winter, it's frozen, and you have to actually unfreeze it um, with either hot spring water or with the fire arrow. Oh, a customer. Gibora, fetch our customer some coffee, quick like. <laughs> this guy's face. He is so awesome. His nips are even showing. Love this guy. Uh, All right, to reforge your sword, it'll cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. <laughs> You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Dude, his face looks like a rat to me, like somebody you shouldn't trust. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it'll lose its edge. So, would you like your sword to be reforged? But yeah, I do! Thanks for dropping in. Now then, we're straight to work. Come back tomorrow morning. <laughs> like he's trying to speak to me, I know it! <laughs> I know I like to bust their balls, but those are some good guys in there. Oh, and I just noticed he didn't make that noise that I love. He always goes, Nyeh! Like the best thing ever. I notice that you can actually see the rungs on this wall. The thing is, we don't have actually need to climb them because there's this cave over here that leads straight over to the Goron's graveyard. So if you ever need to go up there, just a little hint. Not that you would need to, I don't think. Because right now we're gonna go actually over here and, you know, we have a race to attend. But before we can actually go to the races, which are gonna be up there, we have something to get. Notice that there's somebody up there, so why not? Let's go talk to him. I like talking to the characters in this game. All games, actually. It's fun. Hey, kiddo. Ah, Darmy. Pooh. <laughs> now that it's nice and warm out, I'm much, much better. Even if Daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. Oh, he's growing up. So, now that spring has come, the Goron race should be starting soon. But... But this rock is in the way, so I can't get in to see the races. And spring just started, too. I was so excited, but there's nothing I could do. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see the race. Thought you just said you weren't going to cry. And he just stops at the drop of a hat. Crocodile tears, I tell you. Little brats. Dude, that's when little kids start to learn that lying can be, like, an advantage. Because, you know, when they start crying just to get attention and you can tell that their tears are fake, that's when they learn that they can lie. And you have to be like, I'm on to you, little kid. I know you're trying to lie to me and fake me out. I know what you're up to. Evil little children. <laughs> just kidding. I know they're not evil. They don't know lying is wrong, but I just can't stand the sound of crying. Ugh. Well, here we are in the shrine again. It still looks so cold in here. Probably because that ceiling, it looks like ice and like all the blue color filtering in. Makes it seem a bit nipply in here. Oh, did I say nipple? But look, it's a party! Everyone's here, even the old man. Oh, Darmani, I've been waiting impatiently for you. I've been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I had heard that you, the one who I once thought to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard that was blowing in from Snowhead. Thanks to you, spring has come to Goron Village. Everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron hero of all, that's Darmani! Dude, that guy on the left isn't cheering. What's wrong with him? The immortal Goron who is not dead, even if he has died, that's Darmani! Still not cheering. The hell? The star whom we wish upon, that's Darmani! Darmani, greatest of Gorons! Darmani! Oh, whoops. Greatest of Gorons! Wasn't expecting that. C -c 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 combo breaker! Darmani is the greatest in the world! Greatest in the world! I thought everyone was pleased. Apparently that one Goron isn't. I wonder what's up with that. This time I, the protector of this tribe for so many years, choose to yield the seat of tribal patriarch to a younger one. A Goron who makes calm decisions, yet boasts courageous determination, and can take care of all shall be the patriarch. The chosen one, Darmani, is you! There could be no other. What do you think? If it's you, everyone would happily accept you as the patriarch. Except that one Goron, apparently. What? You need not answer so quickly. Go into the Goron race. 
All right, I will. I have a bone to pick with you. Why were you not celebrating? Oh. Armani, you sure are amazing, but, but somehow I still have a bad feeling about things. Hmm. Oh. You, you feel it too, don't you? Okay, that's understandable actually. So his feeling of unease was never about Darmani. It was about this sinister feeling that something is still hanging above their heads and something is about to go wrong, but he just doesn't know quite what it is. <laughs> but if you talk to these other Gorons, they're happy and they talk really highly about Darmani. <laughs> and, you know, they say some funny things, so I suggest talking to them. Like this guy. Uh, it's just like you. Yeah, well, I'm just filling in as Darmani and finishing his unfinished business, basically. And hopefully Darmani now is looking down from the heavens and noticing that everybody respects him and that he's the real hero and he was nominated as the patriarch of the tribe that he loved. So, good job, Link. Hopefully that helps to heal his soul. Anyway, enough gushing about the mushy crap in this game. Let's go blow some shit up. <laughs> So we have to go talk to this guy as Darmy Poo. And look, it's the big guy from Ocarina of Time and Death Mountain who gives you the big Goron sword. And he's the one in this game who sells the powder kegs. But before we can actually use the powder kegs, we have to get tested, which is annoying. But, you know, I guess if you want to take big responsibility of big, huge kegs of TNT, I guess you just, you have to take responsibility. I mean, this guy's the patriarch of the tribe. I don't think he needs to be tested, honestly, but... Oh, well. This is actually pretty tricky. We have to get all the way to where the Bulda is. And you know how far away that is. Now, I've always had quite a bit of trouble with this, but recently I've been doing a lot better. It's just that I always seem to stumble around, especially these hills. Like, you have to throw it right before you get to the edge of the slope. Otherwise, Darmani slips backwards and it wastes time. So... I don't know. I did pretty good up that hill, actually. Woohoo! I don't know, maybe some people always get it on their first try, but um, I always seem to run out of time there at the end. I mean, I'll make it, but I cut it really close. But I don't know what it is with the developers of this game. They just love to make us go and walk slowly through this part of the game all the time. Like, the same path, too. How many times have we done this? this is the third time? Once with actually following the ghost of Darmani, and then we had the rock sirloin, and now this. Silly! Silly, I tell you. Now don't fall in the water, because remember, Gorons don't do so well with water. And notice that on the map, there is a brown-looking uh, chest symbol, um, but that's actually in the water, and we're not going to be able to get that chest until we can actually sink to the bottom of this, what is now a pond. So... That means we'll definitely have to go back and beat Goat once more for sure. I mean, we're we were gonna have to do that again for the frogs, but you know, it's it just goes to show you we're gonna have to do it more than once. So, all right, I made actually really good time. That was awesome. If you don't want to wait, you can always just blow it up with the arrow. Boom! <laughs> and make sure to stand back because you can get hurt. You did it! Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm going right in. I'll be waiting for you. Look at look at him. Aw, uh, I was hoping he would run sideways. Sometimes he does. I guess it depends on what angle you are at, um, like, talking to him. Because sometimes he'll run in sideways. It's just, like, the funniest thing ever. Oh, who's ready for the races? Woohoo! I love me some Goron races. Look at all these guys stretching. You can talk to them, and they're all, like, ready and raring to go. See? That's a good... I knew he was going to say that, though. I bet they're nervous, though. Like, right before a race, I know it can be pretty scary. See, he's shaking it out. Shake out those nerves, dude. He's like, this is my debut at the races. So he's definitely nervous, I can tell. I used to run track when I was in high school. Like, I used to run the 800, and I was also in um, long distance and cross country. The moment right before a race is, like, the most intense ever. And I used to be in dance, so I used to go on stage a lot. Right before you went on stage was so scary. So I'm guessing it's kind of like that. All right, I'm ready. But oh no, I have to pee. I always had to pee right before going on stage. <laughs> so scary. Like everyone was just like, I should have gone to the bathroom. Oh no. Listen to all that cheering. Hell yeah. Now notice that there is a timer before you start. So if you go over the line here, I'll show you. It says up. It's false start. We have to restart. And there's no penalty to you, but you can. 
a little bit forward before the race and go! As long as you don't cross the line before it actually says go, then you is all good. <laughs> and notice that we're the only one with spikes. Ha ha! Take that, bitches. Don't get near my spikes. It's like those little kids and the little rascals with the, the spiked wheels. <laughs> now, my best advice is just to um, stay away from these Gorons. And I know they do try to home in on you like little bitches, but just try your best not to get slowed down by running into them. And avoid these trees. <laughs> of course, when I say avoid the trees, I fucking run into one. Awesome, Donna. Now, if you actually have the upgraded um, magic bar, then you don't have to try to get these uh, the jars very much because you have plenty of magic, trust me. And oh my gosh, I keep slowing down, but nobody's in front of me, so that's good. I notice that if you slow down a lot, then the Gorons will kind of keep pace with you. But... Uh, get away from me! Just try to hug these curves as much as you possibly can. And it looks like we're in first. Because you can tell where the other Gorons are by the dots on the map. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get it! Ah! Get away from me, bitches! Stay back! Did I win? I think I won! And he ran right into me! What the hell, dude? That was not good sportsmanship, <laughs> sir. I was the fastest! Woohoo! Oh yeah! First try, first place, I did it. <laughs> And here's the prize. Ta-da! We got a gold trophy in the form of gold dust. But more importantly, we got a new bottle. I want to be just like you. Quick! <laughs> but look! Isn't it pretty? Especially with the gold dust next to the pink fairy. I like it. It's very nice. And notice that we're not getting uh, bottles very fast in this game. I mean, we're like almost halfway done and we've only gotten two bottles so far. Crazy! But it's okay, we have plenty more to do in this game. I'm gonna stop the video right now because this is getting to be kind of a longish video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you, bye!